my beautiful unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this get ready with me where we are gonna have a chat I just stepped out of the shower so I'm gonna just put this up because my hair is wet and we are gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do some makeup and I thought I don't do many chit chat get ready with me's but I want to so let's just have some things to talk about when I do these videos and I'm just gonna use the makeup and I'll put all the details down below in the description box I always do that don't you hate when people <laughs> they're actually like YouTube it's their job and they never they say they're gonna put things in the description box and they never do but I do, so if you're wondering about anything that I'm using today, it will all be in the description box. I'll even break it into categories like face, eyes, lips, all of that, so don't worry. I thought that today, I thought that we'd have a chat about like my gaming experience and like gaming all together. Because I'm getting, I've been getting so many questions, which is fun. Wait, let me see if I can get the mirror. Uh, the mirror is not here, no. I've been getting so many questions on how how I got into gaming, what games I play and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be fun if we could just have a video where we chat about that. Because I love gaming, I love the gaming community just as much as I love the beauty community. And I thought that while I have the chance, I could talk about that as well here. It's mixing some foundations together. Is this a match? Maybe. So everybody's been asking me what games do I play and I play mainly World of Warcraft and somewhat League of Legends but World of Warcraft is my main game it is the game that I've been playing the most um, I started playing World of Warcraft when I was 25 and I am in a couple of weeks I'm gonna be 34 so I've almost been playing for 10 years but I have had somewhat of breaks so I had a break for one year during Pandaria, like when that released, I became uh, max level when Pandaria came and then I realized that it was just a bunch of dailies and the raids were so boring. <laughs> so I just actually took a break for a year before I came back. Don't even remember, like it was the last two raids of Pandaria I came back and I started raiding again. With me, when it comes to like World of Warcraft, what I love is the raiding aspect. It's gonna even it out a bit with the beauty blender, but raiding is basically like the end game of the, like the end game of the game. So when you're max leveled, you have a character, and you're max leveled, uh, you get to join a team, and with that team you do the end game, uh, and that is called raiding. Or it could also be player versus player, but I never really was into that. I was more into the PVE thing, um, and I was, I started playing when um, Uldor was the chisel that's when I got into World of Warcraft because I had an ex of mine that was into World of Warcraft and I started playing because him and his friends were always talking about World of Warcraft and I just wanted to be a part of it. So I started playing and uh, I started playing with them after I max leveled and then I realized that they were actually not that good. <laughs> so I actually joined another guild and with that guild I played until the beginning of Cataclysm and we were um, Raiding, uh, doing what was it called back then? It wasn't called Mythic, it was called something else. Uh, and we did all the way up to Sindragosa on Heroic, it was called Heroic back then. I'm so confused that they changed that still. I'm, I'm such an OG player, although I didn't play during vanilla. Um, and then in Cataclysm, I played the most, uh, then I joined the guild and we raided five times a week. So I basically had scheduled time when I was playing with my team, my guild, five nights a week. And I was basically playing all the time. That's all I did. My foundation is looking really nice today. And I've had so much fun in the gaming community. Right now I'm not playing um, because my motherboard is a bit nicked so I can't really play. Um, I can't connect my computer to internet via the cable so I have can only connect it to internet um, via like Wi-Fi and nobody plays World of Warcraft on Wi-Fi like that's just not gonna happen so Therefore, I am on a break a bit, but my boyfriend does play still. 
and I wish I could, but I just can't right now. Did I even tell you what I play? I play a Draenei Mage. I've been playing Mage since the absolute beginning. Oh, I have a hair here. <laughs> and I love playing Mage. It's my absolute favorite class in the game, and I think I've tried all of the classes. Um, that's just the one I love. I really feel like I have a hair here somewhere. And I was playing very serious for a while. I didn't do anything else but play. And I had a lot of fun, but I am more happy now that I'm not that serious with playing. The last like raiding experience that I had was actually, I see it now, it's here. Did I get it? Oh, so annoying. The last raiding experience I had, because I stopped playing at the uh, beginning of this expansion, I took Archimonde at Mythic pre-nerf and I actually have the Archimonde uh, mount. So that is like my last like big raiding experience, so to speak. Um, but yeah, that was... That was a lot of fun and I loved playing and I miss my friends that I made in the game a lot. And I know that a lot of you are playing as well and I'd love to know like what you're playing. Like, let me know what you're playing. If any of you are playing World of Warcraft, are you playing on EU servers? Uh, because I'm of course playing in Europe because I'm in Europe. But I mean, if you are, let me know. I would love to know. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows because that takes me a bit and it's just boring. I'm using the Goof Proof. Uh, I actually bought a backup. I know I'm on a low buy, but I thought that since I'm running out of this, I've, I've seen the end on this. <laughs> I thought that I could buy a backup of this one and also I bought a new tattoo liner by Kat Von D because that one is out. So you are allowed to buy things you run, you run out of on the low buy, right? Damn, that is some intense brows. I started playing like when I was younger because I have I have three brothers. I don't know if I've told you that. And we all played games together. We played like StarCraft and Warcraft and Age of Empires and Diablo and Unreal Tournament and Half-Life. We had so much fun together, me and my brothers playing games when we were younger. We always played PC games and then when I got back into gaming as like an adult playing World of Warcraft, it just came natural to me. I didn't feel like I was like the odd one out in the community. But let me tell you, there's a lot of girls playing computer games today and like Xbox and PS4 and PS3 as well that don't really get the whole thing about being a girl playing. People are like so confused, like there's so many girls playing, like there's nothing to be confused about. I remember when I started raiding, there wasn't that many girls raiding then. When I started raiding with my first like serious guild, I remember the first time I actually speak up because you're a team, so you're speaking with each other. There was actually somebody being like, oh my god, it's a girl. <laughs> yeah, it's a girl. Like get your act together, but it's really not that rare. Uh, lately, when I've been playing, there's always been girls in the guilds, so it's really not been that much of a deal. So if you wanted to start gaming and you want to get into a community, it is it is not weird being a girl. Uh, some people want to give you like advantages for being a girl. I'm going to use this one, by the way, the Sueva Opulence palette. Um, but I just feel like as long as you don't take any bullshit... Oh, that's intense. As long as you don't take any bullshit, they will try you, but they will give up. So I just didn't take any bullshit and I was always as prepared as the guys. I was never expecting any favors. I was never... Jesus Christ, that is intense. This blush is crazy. And the color is really crazy on the screen now as well. It's not that weird in real life. See, when I come closer, it's not that weird. But that is looking very intense. But I just didn't let them give me shit, so to speak. And that's what you need to do um, when you're like in a guild playing with people or in a team playing with people. Just don't let them... Ooh, did you see that? Don't let them get to you. Like, don't let them treat you like you need help because you're a girl. Because you don't. I mean, it's a computer game. 
Why would you, like, there's literally nothing setting you apart from the boys. You can be just as fast as them, you can be just as prepared as them, you can be anything you want to when you're gaming as a girl. There is actually, like, leagues just for girls and I think that that's just a step back because there's literally nothing that sets the girls and the boys apart when it comes to gaming. Wow, it's looking so intense in the viewfinder. But maybe it isn't like on camera, but it's looking really nice in real life. So I have no idea why it's looking so intense, but just don't let it get to you. For a while, people were trying to like, oh, do you need help with something? Oh, I get it. It must be hard being a girl. Like, fuck you. It's not hard being a girl. It's just a game. I can be as good as you. And the way you have to show them is you have to show them on the meters. Like, be as prepared as they are, play as good as they do, and they will respect you. Um... I've gotten so much good response and so much respect within the gaming community. I've gotten so many friends and I've met so many cool people and I just you just have to show if you show them that you don't need help, they will treat you with respect. Basically that's it. I'm gonna go into this All I See is Magic palette by ColourPop. I think I'm gonna do something with this color because I love it so much, the reddy reddish purple one. But I think I might start with Maybe this one? Or this one? I'll just start with this one and I think I'll just move into this one or maybe this one. I don't know. I'll use some of the mats and we'll just see where, where that ends up. I actually met one of my absolute best friends in World of Warcraft. We are still friends. We met like... Yeah, I would say we met when I was like 26 maybe? Because I think it was like my 26th birthday or something. And um, we were playing online uh, and I was playing with this guild and we were kind of serious. We were raiding several times a week and it's like any, any kind of sport or group activity. I mean, you have to be as engaged as the team you are in and if you like set up a time, you have to show up. <laughs> and we had a new recruit in the team. Uh, in World of Warcraft, you call them trials and my my officer, the one that was leading the group, came to me and said, I think it's a girl, so why don't you have a chat with her and just get to know her a bit, let her know about the rules we have and just like see what you think about her. And this was an international guild, like our, we had people from South America, from Russia, from Turkey, from like Dutch people, Irish, UK, we had everything. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> um, so I spoke to her, I wrote her and I said, Hi, welcome to this guild. Um, we have some rules. Uh, would love to go through them with you. And she answered me back and her English wasn't the best. So I was like, so where are you from? Because I'm guessing you're not UK. Uh, because I saw that her English, not bad English, but like there was some, some spelling er errors and stuff like that, so I was like, okay, so where are you from? And she said she's from Sweden. I was like, wow, that's so cool. And we started talking in Swedish instead. Um, and after chatting a bit, I'm like, okay, so where in Sweden are you from? And it turns out this girl lived two houses from me in real life. And we've been friends since then. She, uh, she's been on my Snapchat a couple of times, you might have seen her, her name is Lisa, I did her makeup when she was here a couple of weeks ago, um, she's just a really cool girl. And I met her in World of Warcraft and I met a couple of my friends in World of Warcraft. It is a lovely community, just as good as a community like here on YouTube. After a while you get into it and it's just a really welcoming place and I'm really happy that I did start gaming and I do hope that even more girls will get into gaming and also into more competitive gaming because I think that that's why people think that there's no girls in gaming because we're not at the like the competitive stage maybe and we're maybe a lot of girls are playing different games like maybe they're not playing Counter-Strike or uh, or stuff like that. Maybe girls are playing different games, but I've met a lot of girls in World of Warcraft, so Yeah, I don't think that there is only guys playing World of Warcraft. I know there's not only guys playing World of Warcraft and I think that that is so cool. I really miss my mage now. <sighs> I should get that computer fixed so I can 
start playing again. I haven't even been into the new raid. The last raid I was in was Nightfall. I did some mythics. I think I have like a progression of like three or four mythics, but yeah, nothing spectacular. Another thing that's really funny is that uh, my in-game name in every game, because I also play League of Legends, has always been Barbie. <laughs> I mean, you might think it's foolish, and in a way it is, but my in-game name has always been Barbie. Even in League of Legends, and people are always like, Barbie? What kind of name is that? Or are you a girl? I'm like, what guy would name their character Barbie? Well, maybe they would. I don't know. Maybe I'm being like judging here but yeah I've always like because of my name I've always been asked like are you a girl because it's such a typical girl name but some people don't believe me but yeah that's also a thing if you are a good player people won't believe that you're a girl they're like oh I can't believe a girl would be that good until they get to know you because you're like any other human being but yeah sometimes you get that and it's kind of annoying but eventually they will get to know you and they will see that you're a good human being and a good player but yeah there are always cliches within every every category on the like internet or in any group there's always like what they think you should be and apparently apparently all over I'm not what people think I should be I'm a former model that loves gaming and has a beauty YouTube channel I'm guessing I'm not like the typical person. Like I said, I've played some League of Legends as well and I never played that in any way like competitive. I didn't play World of Warcraft competitive either but I was very <laughs> serious about my World of Warcraft account. Like I got lore master and you know exalted with every faction and stuff like that but with LOL it was basically just playing and having fun. It was basically just having a game that I could take a break and not be that serious. And I basically only played support classes in League of Legends because I really enjoy that role. I usually say that I favor my girls, which is Sona, Soraka, and Nami. I love those. Um, this is the third Dirty Beautiful collection by Divina, and I showed you this on Snapchat. I want to use this blue up in the corner. Let me see what the name is. Uh, so I've mainly been like doing support classes in in uh, League of Legends. This is called Serena. Serena, yes. And uh, so I never really cared about like trying to do ranked or trying to like play in a more serious manner. I just never really cared about that. Ooh, this is nice. I did play ranked once, like one season, and I think I only played support then as well. I might have played some like mid or something, I don't even know. But I only like, I didn't even play the full season and I only finished like silver or something. So I didn't really, I don't really care about League of Legends. But funny story, talking about like computer games and stuff. Today I actually got a an email from Riot, which is the developer of uh, League of Legends, and they were like, your account has been suspended because of violation of terms. And I haven't been logged into that game for, I want to say, I want to say two months, because I haven't been, I haven't been playing anything because, well, my my computer isn't working like it should, so I'm like, I didn't play. <laughs> Who did? <laughs> so I actually looked at my account. I went in and I changed my password because obviously somebody has been, like, my account has been compromised. Um, so I changed my password and I looked at who's been playing on my account and it was someone playing ranked on my account. And since I haven't been playing, I'm like, who takes my account? My account sucks. Maybe I had the heroes they want. I don't even know. But anyways, I got my account back, but it is suspended until February, but I'm not going to be able to fix my computer until then anyway. So maybe it doesn't matter. But I was like looking at them like ranked and he had some games won. And I was thinking like, maybe I should have let this guy just go on because he's doing a better job than I did. <laughs> but yeah, I... 
I kicked that guy out of my account, but it was kind of funny though that he was playing ranked. Because my account is not really an account you want to play ranked on. I'm not really, not really that good. I'm gonna use a bit of eyeliner as well. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> like, I was so sad if somebody hacked my World of Warcraft account because that's like my life. But my LOL account, I could not care less. But I mean, the community. I'm gonna use this blue eyeliner. The community in World of Warcraft is so much more friendly and welcoming than the community in like League of Legends because the League of Legends community, that can be toxic. I mean, that's just literally 12 year olds screaming at you that you should uninstall the game if you didn't ward exactly what they wanted you to ward. Like, they can be hazardous. <laughs> the World of Warcraft community is more welcoming. Uh, the League of Legends community, that can be like it's saltier than the Atlantic, it is intense. Those wings are not twins. I don't even think that they are like friends. They are strangers on the street. I'm gonna use one of these Diamond Dews by Lime Crime. I have used the pink one, but I wanna use this blue one as well. I'm just gonna put that over like the turquoise and see how it transforms because these are not totally opaque, but they are stunning. Let's see if you can see how it transforms. You see the difference between like with and without? I should probably have done this before the eyeliner but I think it turned out okay anyways. I am actually gonna finish this and just put on some lashes and I'll be back so we can do the lips. Yeah. Okay so the lashes are on and this is looking quite dramatic and fun and what I just wanted to finally say, like, what do I do for lips? I got a package from NYX, maybe I should try some of these, because they sent me, like, a bunch of these smaller ones. Maybe I should do, like, a really dark one. This is Transylvania, I always wanted to try this one. What do you think? Or should I try something? Like, I think I want to do this. I think I'll do this. One sec, I need to get a lip liner. Found a dark one from Colourpop, this is Dukes. Uh, what I wanted to say about gaming is that if there's one thing that gaming has taught me, it is that I have much more patience than I thought. Like in real life, I have no patience. Like I want the, if I get an idea, I'm annoyed that I haven't already done it. Like that's my, like, I have the patience span of like a hungry two year old. I'm like now, 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 now. But I've noticed that in games, like in World of Warcraft, if I do something, I'm like, so if I do this for 30 minutes a day, I will get the mount after 40 days. That seems fair to me. <laughs> in real life, I'd be like, hell no. But in game, I have a lot of patience. Ooh. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, it is a bit fatchy. I think I need to give it, give it like a fair chance. Uh, it is a bit patchy, but it is still a pretty color. If I am not mistaken, these will dry down a little bit. I think. I'm gonna go and just dry my hair and I'll come back and I will share some final wisdoms with you about gaming and the whole girl gamer thing and like types of gamers and stuff like that. I have some final thoughts. Two sex. So that's that. I'm not entirely convinced still that the settings on the camera is totally correct but I will I will keep on trying until I reach something that I feel satisfied with. I wanted to leave with just being a part of the gaming community for a really long time and now being part of the beauty community I've seen that there is a lot of similar th like a similarities. I mean there's always cliques, there are always people who think that they are better than others, there are always people here doing it as a career and people here doing it for a hobby and then there are those that are actually like doing both. And I also want to say that when it comes to gaming, if you are not a gamer don't expect that you know what a gamer looks like, because you don't. I'm a gamer, I mean, somebody that looks totally different than me could be a gamer, and I hope that we could, like, in the future see that gaming is as a viable hobby or occupation or 
passion as anything else and gamers come in all sizes and forms and Sometimes people tell me like, I would never have thought you you to be a gamer. I'm like, so what did you expect the game to be like? We have so much like expectations on what we think people can be and what, what they are allowed to be based on the, the like the expression we get from them the first time we see them. It's hard to like explain, but I think you understand what I mean. And people are like, I never thought you'd be a gamer. And I'm like, why? It's and the reason it's probably because a lot of people see gaming as a last resort. Like something you do when you don't have any other group that you fit into. And that's just not true, at least not today. Gaming is not the last resort. It is a choice. It is something you choose to do because you love it. And that's why gamers comes in every size and form, just like bus drivers or teachers or beauty vloggers. We are not all alike and don't expect, like don't be too surprised when somebody tells you that they love gaming because gaming is so much fun and I hope that more will be into gaming. And I hope that I will be gaming more soon as well because I need to get my computer fixed, it's so annoying. If any of you are playing World of Warcraft and if you are playing on European servers or if you are playing League of Legends as well, although my account is banned right now, <laughs> I am playing on EU west so if you are playing on any of those uh, like european servers let me know maybe we could play together because that would be so much fun and yeah i think that was everything this is the very dramatic look i'm gonna go show my hubby actually because he loves dramatic looks and he loves dark lips i'm actually gonna try and film another video as well but i'm gonna upload this to my computer and see how the colors are the viewfinder makes my eyeshadow look a bit shoppy but in real life it really isn't so We'll see. Thank you so much for being here. I am so happy you're here. And if you stay to the end, you're the real MVP right here. And if you want to be subscribed to my channel, the buzz is down below. I'd love to have you. I do upload quite a lot of videos and I would love to see you in my next one. Bye.